the Xbox that started it all. Um, still working really well. It's one running Windows 7 and I've been using it mainly to stream videos onto my larger television. Um, I've experimented a little bit with over the air and it's working really well as an over the air box as well as a PVR. Well, here's an update video of my um, video editing computer, that one that was for $20. On the comments of the video, um, I already mentioned this, but I've upgraded it uh, from one gigabyte to two gigabyte RAM, which is not a, it's double, but it's not still not much RAM. Um, got the RAM for free, so I put it in there. Um, for on sale, I got uh, from Tiger Direct a, an 8 Radeon HD 5450 video card, one gigabyte DDR3 uh, video card. Again, not a powerhouse, but it works well for what I need to do. Uh, I use this as my, my basically my video editing computer. I do everything on this computer regarding the video editing, and I'm still using a Ubuntu 12. Point, um, 12 12.04 LTS, and uh, the OpenShot. So that's the operating system I'm using. OpenShot Video Editor, and this is my next one of my next videos. There we go. It's a, a new maple self bow, but it's actually a backed um, wooden bow, board bow that I uh, bought from Home Depot. Um, so I'm just, uh, it's part of the video that we're going to show. Okay. Well, here's my VCR, uh, PC and a VCR build. Still working just fine, still working beautifully. Uh, no complaints with it. Um, it is running. The well, temperature's still going up a little bit. I just started them up, but uh, everything's working just beautifully out of this. And right beside it is the PS3 computer. Again, this one also doing just wonderfully, working really good. I thought about updating, upgrading. Um, this is one I'm actually actually still trying to uh, sell, and um, some interest, but no takers just yet. All right, so on the small monitor we have the VCR uh, playing the VCR video, and the on the big monitor the PS3 playing the PS3 uh, video. And really, um, everything's been working well. Um, the PS3 I still I use for some light editing as well, and uh, I find that they play video no problem and stream no problem. Uh, what I'm hoping is that uh, you know I can sell one or both of them so that I can fund future projects. Uh, and so anyway, that's what I'm trying to do is uh, get them sold. Okay, what you see here is not a takedown bow. <laughs> this is actually my most recent bow that I made with the kind of like the different shaped uh, ends. Uh, the knocks right there. Here's my handle with my uh, shooting shelf on there. Uh, this is one of my better shooting bows and as you can see it snapped a very clean snap in half. So the, you can see actually the design that I did um, was this is the three quarter inch pipe the white on the outside and there's the half inch pipe that was in the inside to reinforce the pipe and inside there, I don't know if you can see that, but inside there, there's the three quarter inch, the half inch on the inside, and outside here is a one inch pipe that I had to cut and wrap around to make my thicker handle and reinforce the uh, three quarter inch pipe. Um, but obviously the reinforcement didn't work. Now, there's a couple design flaws I think that uh, could have caused this, but what I'm actually surprised about is the half inch pipe that actually snapped in half. This th white three-quarter inch pipe, that's fine. That was cut in half and well cut and that didn't snap um, in that position. But the th half inch pipe completely just broke right in half and it looks like I cut it, but that's where it broke. Now where it fit in before was right here. Like so. Yeah, so it's a great takedown bow now, um, except it will keep breaking. Another design flaw is this is the uh, the back of the bow and this is the belly of the bow facing me and I think what the next design is the handle wrap 
I'm going to have to wrap around the other way. I did it this way originally because it's more comfortable against my hand, but I think I have to wrap the uh, outside PVC around. Also, as you can see here, where it broke, um, it wasn't quite halfway down, and so I just have to make sure I put that further down, um, maybe epoxy it rather than hot glue it in place. Yeah, anyway, this is how it kind of broke. So it came through here, and then it broke through the handle like that and <laughs> right in the face but anyway um, I'm okay thankfully and that's what happened yet another takedown bow there's no it's no kidding one day after I broke my brown bow um, I broke this one so this is my this is going to be my update that I put this new 3M snakeskin uh, tape on here and voila. So as you can see here, this one actually has no inserts. It's just straight three quarter inch pipe bow with a one inch handle uh, wrap, uh, PVC wrap that goes around to strengthen the handle. So it didn't break at the handle, but it broke right blow the handle. The other place where it did break, I'm just, I think it's when it fell and it snapped, is on the lower limb, uh, just on that part of the PVC. Anyway, um, so again, I have something that looks like a takedown bow again, but it is not. It snapped. So again, this is my experience so far with white PVC, is that it's continued to be somewhat brittle, but um, and I know I didn't overheat this stuff. Uh, I'm, well, I'm pretty sure I didn't overheat it. There's no burn marks. There's no issues there. Anyway, um, I'm going to see. I could have been making them too short. Um, this one's about, say, 51 or 50 inches or so. Um, I'm going to try making them a bit longer. Put a bit more reflex in them just to stiffen them up a bit more and see how it goes. But, busted. Garbage. What is this you say? I didn't make it. Um, this is just the riser portion of my uh, newest bow. It's a Sebastian Flute Forge Plus um, riser, 25 inch riser. Uh, there's little socks to protect the ends um, and part of the V stabilizer bars in sight. Uh, anyway, this is my new newest bow and uh, you'll know, see another video of this in more detail with the limbs and shooting etc um, and do a little bit of a review on this all right so that's coming up